Hello from Bling Your Band. This video is about painting your band. We didn't set out to offer paint or get mixed up in paint. We view paint as something folks just get at the craft store and we'll stick to our artwork. But all too often, folks would ask us to look at photos of a helmet after they painted and ask for help to diagnose why paint was peeling. Our mission at Bling Your Band is to turn lemons to lemonade. To take a helmet from being an object you don't want to be seen with to an object that literally turns heads and makes you proud. These bad painting experiences were taking a bad situation and leaving parents completely demoralized. We finally said enough. We would learn for ourselves how to paint the helmets and then enable and teach our families how they can do it too. Painting a band and getting good results is not hard and this video is going to make it look easy. It is if you follow four steps. Step one is sand the band. Some bands are slick or have a coating that will make it impossible for any brand of paint to firmly stick. I recommend you sand the band from side to side and then sand the band from top to bottom to be sure you have firmly roughened the entire surface. If you ordered paint from us, you will have received a square of sandpaper. Please take that sandpaper and sand the entire band as you see here. It does not matter if you ordered paint from us or not, sandpaper is the single most important step in painting your band. This is so important I will say it again. Take it from us, we do this every day. Sandpaper is the single most important step in painting your band. You should spend three or four minutes on this step. At the start of this video, you saw us paint the band with two layers of Mod Podge. I am painting an example band that we often paint and repaint. To help with removing the paint later, I put down two layers of Mod Podge, and this trick can help you if you wanted to remove the paint later. I will talk more about removing paint at the end of the video. Step two is the brush. We recommend a brush like you see in this video. The bristles are soft and it paints cleanly. I've seen brushes at the craft store cost up to $15 and you don't need that. But also avoid the dollar brushes. In our experience, brushes at the $4 level are a good value for the money and are right for this job. Here is something to check for on brushes. As part of the manufacturing process, they put some glue in the bristles so they can shape and trim them. Sometimes that glue doesn't all get washed out at the end. This has happened to us, so we wash them one more time before sending them out to you. But if the bristles feel hard at all, or the bristles stick together, set the brush in a cup of warm water for a few minutes, and then wash out all that glue and pat it dry. The brush will be good to go. The third step is to actually paint the band. I recommend you set the band on some newspaper or another disposable surface. We then start at one edge of the band and slowly work around to the other in careful strokes. Even though in this video two coats will completely cover the band, plan on applying three thin coats. Thick coats show excessive brush strokes and heavily applied paint could run and be unsightly. Let's talk about paint brands. At the craft store, there are acrylic paints that range in price from under a buck to over 10 for an ounce of paint. Do you want to know why? We did too, so we bought them all and started painting our sample bands to learn what paint is best. From our buying them and using them ourselves, 
Here is what we have generally learned about less expensive versus more expensive paints. Less expensive paints generally have less pigment in them, and the pigments generally don't look as good as the same color in a more expensive brand. So a helmet painted light pink from a cheap brand will require a little bit more work to paint than a more expensive brand, and held side by side, generally the more expensive paint will look richer and better in color. Another thing we have learned is consistency. More expensive brands are more consistent in quality. One color of a cheap brand might be really good, rivaling a more expensive brand. Another color of that cheap brand might be worthless. And by worthless, it may not just be the color, it may be the sticking power. Some cheap paints peel off very easily, but another color in the same brand might be fine. So be wary of cheap paints. In our experience, once you are paying about three to four dollars for an ounce of paint, generally the paints are decent for color and sticking power. But even then, one color might be thick and cover well, and another color might be more watery and require more coats. Like everything else, you can't get something for nothing, but you can get nothing for something. With every paint we offer, we ordered a bottle and actually painted a band like you see today. Then we tested it for how many coats are needed for good coverage, and does it stick? The companies we keep going back to are Golden, Deco Art, and Liquitex. We consistently see and get good results with these brands. These are all in the three to ten dollar range for an ounce. So yes, there is cheaper paint out there, but if your paint does not stick, but peels off in places, or the paint color is dull and lifeless, the couple of dollars difference in paint will seem like really, really small potatoes. The last step is protecting the band. If painting the band is the last step in your decorating process, then you can wait till the paint is dry to your touch and then apply Mod Podge. If decals are your next step, we still recommend applying two coats of Mod Podge and then applying the decals over that. If you want to remove the decals later, the layer of Mod Podge will help the decals from pulling the paint off. Let's talk about paint removal. Just after you paint the band, the paint may feel dry to the touch, but it really is still soft, and even quality paint will pull right off if you apply a decal to the paint and then try to remove the decal from the painted surface. The paint really takes days to weeks to completely dry, after which, if you want to remove the paint and the paint is firmly stuck to the band, it can seem like it would take a chisel to get it off. But if you remove the Mod Podge and then run the helmet under hot water from your tap for a few minutes, the acrylic paint will start to soften up and you probably can scrape it off with your fingers. This is what we do to remove the paint from our example helmets when it's time to paint them again. We have more details about applying Mod Podge and sealers in general in another video, so please join us there.